This is the last part of a series of videos on how to solve this problem as an example. Uh, and we are almost done. We have... I think I've gotten off on my letters. Let me see. If you're watching this in series, that might make some sense to you. Yeah, I said this was D. This is not part D. This is part E. Now, all this left is to solve part F which I want you to take the equation I just derived and calculate it for these numbers. Mass is 32 kilograms, theta is 45 degrees, and mu k, the coefficient of kinetic friction, is 0.3. So let me go over here and see if I can remember all that, and I already forgot it. Mass is 32 kilograms, theta is 45 degrees, and mu k is 0.3. So I've got mass, 32 kilograms, theta, 45 degrees, mu k is equal to 0.3. Right? I will figure out how to write k's today. Alright, so if I go back and look at this equation, let me just rewrite that. Ax is equal to g sine theta minus mu k cosine theta. <coughs> Ax is equal to g sine theta minus mu k cosine theta. Do I even need the mass? No, I don't. So I have the mass, but it doesn't come into it. Which also makes sense if you think about it. You've probably heard in science classes before that everything uh, that we drop on the Earth accelerates at the same rate. And that's true, which means that mass doesn't actually come into it. We'll see later that that's a, an approximation. Uh, but it's a pretty good one as long as we're at or near the surface of the Earth. So now this is going to be... 9.81 meters per second squared times the sine of 45 minus 0 0.3 oh, terrible times the cosine of 45 okay when I run those numbers I get that that is equal to 4.86 meters per second squared which I like let's see if this makes sense right if the, I know that if sorry my iPad just fell down uh, I know that if this were not inclined then the acceleration would be zero and if I know that if it were inclined all the way so that it were vertical this would just be in free fall and my acceleration would be 9.81 meters per second squared so I expect to find a value in between there. Specifically for this, you can probably reason your way to seeing that if if the angle is 45 degrees, that is halfway between 0 and 90, uh, my acceleration is going to be roughly half of what it would be if I'm falling. And that is roughly, there are other factors that come into there, but it roughly is. So I like this number, it makes sense to me. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's right. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Uh, well, if you're in my class, I'll see you in class.